hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to be giving you guys a quick update on what's been going on with the ios 10.1.1 jailbreak as well as the downgrade tool or upgrade tool by tim star so with that being said let's get straight into this video All right, guys, so first off, I was going to make this video a couple days ago, but the subreddit, if you guys were on it and guys were checking out everything, it was a complete mess with a lot of discussion, requests, and just a lot of people and complaints complaining about their iDevices and such. So there wasn't really a lot of news, and if you guys are following me on my Twitter page, then you guys knew that I was not in success for finding a right video for yesterday. So since that is done i will be updating you guys on the latest 10.1.1 jailbreak by luca tedesco now first off guys if you guys are not on an iDevice with ios 10.1.1 or you guys are not on a 6s an ipad 2 or the iphone 7 this developer by the name of timstar is actually making a upgrade slash downgrade tool for us to be able to use it to upgrade or downgrade to 10.1.1 now like i said before in my previous videos about the update this tool is only available if you guys have your shsh2 blob saved so if you guys do not have your shsh2 blob saved then you guys are out of luck and you guys will not be able to use this tool unless there is a jailbreak for 10.2 and only if timstar updates this tool to be used with 10.2 so for anyone who is on iOS 9.3.3, I recommend you guys stay in there just for now until you guys are able to see a stable jailbreak for 10.1.1 that is compatible with your device. Or if Timstar releases this tool in order to upgrade to 10.1.1 with your SHSH2 blobs, then you guys can go ahead and use this as well. And I will go ahead and make a tutorial for that as soon as that day comes. But for now, he has not released anything regarding his tool or any information about it. So we can just wait for right now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move to the next topic of the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak. Now recently, like I said in my previous video as well, there are a lot of bugs since this is a beta jailbreak. Now it is still in beta 3 by Luca Tedesco and it still is in its works. Now if you guys do have an iMessage, FaceTime or LTE bug for 10.1.1 and you guys are jailbroken on that, then you guys can go ahead and use this tutorial right now. It'll be the first link that is inside of the description below. And you guys can use this tutorial that the name of a game no more had made in order to fix these types of problems on your iDevice. Now, if you guys do check it out, he does have two different versions. So if you guys are on Windows, he does have the correct links and everything you can do in order to get these problems fixed and situated. Now, if you guys are on OS X, you guys can use this tutorial as well, since there is a section for that too. Now, there might be another problem that you guys may have, and that involves you losing your jailbreak. Now, unfortunately, this method right here does require you to install AppSync. So if you guys have installed this beforehand, you guys might be able to fix your device. If you guys had some type of problem and you needed to restore your device without wanting to upgrade to 10.2. Now, this user by the name of Marco went ahead and made a simple tutorial using iCloud and Find My iPhone and you guys can use this tutorial if you guys are having some problems as well now i cannot test this myself to make sure it works but by the amount of karma he has he has 249 hopefully this is something that actually works now i'm just speculating since he does have a lot of karma for this post that it does work so if you guys want to go ahead and check this out and you guys are having problems and you guys had AppSync installed on your device then you guys can go ahead and check out this tutorial and it will be the second link that is inside of the description below now that is pretty much it for iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak also guys don't forget to know that this is a beta jailbreak now it is not stable like pengu or taiji's jailbreaks but at least luca tedesco actually made a jailbreak and produced it for users to use now like i said before if you guys are a normal user just like i am i recommend to stay away from this product until it is at its stable position now guys, I did forget to mention that a user was able to successfully jailbreak their iPhone SE on 10.1.1 with Luca Tedesco's jailbreak. Now he might be one of those very special people that are lucky enough to get the jailbreak running and going. Now, like I said, do not do this jailbreak unless you guys are a developer and know what you guys are doing. And I will not be held responsible if you guys actually try to use this jailbreak. So as I said, I recommend you guys staying until it is stable. 
so if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like down below and also subscribe like i said if you guys subscribe i will be doing a face reveal and a quick q a for who is elite apple hacks and who is behind all these videos so at my 1000 subscriber milestone i will be doing that as well so if you guys are not yet subscribed i recommend doing that also don't forget to follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to get a sense of what's been going on in the jailbreak world and in my daily life so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out